Hello everyone, here is Koskamp here from Team Infinity and uh, today in this video I want to talk about the uh, touring car, the i14-2, the T, the team edition and I want to talk about the, the CG of the car or the center of gravity. Of course in a, in a race car you want to have uh, the weight in the car as low as possible and you have of course the car which weighs only half of the weight and the other half are the electronics. So, um, a small detail on the car, of course, is nice to have it lower, such as a steel screw in the bottom or an aluminium chassis, to also lower the CG, lower the center of gravity. Um, but the most you can gain is, of course, in the electronics, because electronics are, what I said, uh, half or even more than half of the car weight. And, and so I have uh, a few tips uh, that I want to show you, so uh, come and have a look. So first of all, uh, of course the battery, uh, nowadays the batteries are quite thin and uh, normally you have to add some weight on the battery so the best uh, way to do that is have a, have a, have a plate, this is a SMJ uh, a brass plate from 30 grams and I always tape it, very thin tape on the bottom of the battery so the battery uh, has the, the right balance uh, as well as the, the weight as low uh, in the car as, uh, as you can have. Um, for the motor position that's already sorted because there is a cutout on the chassis to lower the motor as much as possible so in that case you can't do much you can only use uh, the aluminium screws on the motor to make the motor more light so the weight is uh, is in a way it's lower because you can add that weight lower on the car um, yeah for the speed controller I always use very thin tape so because the speed controller is quite heavy and uh, because uh, the thin tape of course it also sits lower in the car sometimes you have uh, some very thick double-sided tape and it's really two or three millimeter thick and that's actually uh, yeah it's the waste uh, waste for the the center of uh, of gravity so in therefore you can also uh, yeah you can win some of course the wires also heavy so I always try to have the wire as low as uh, possible in the car don't have the long wires because also wires heavy and it's it's uh, it's more like a top weight so also the wire as low as possible uh, receiver transponder of course also uh, with a very thin uh, double side tape also helps to lower the center of gravity so now I come to uh, pretty much the most important one uh, or you can gain a lot uh, with the servo uh, mounting um, of course we have now the floating uh, servo mount and as you can already see and I will show you later in more detail uh, you can quite uh, move around the servo uh, the servo mounts are made uh, for all types of servos so uh, also there you can uh, you can win something so I'm going to show you now how I do that so now you can see uh, the the servo is uh, already on the the floating servo mount and as you can see this fl the servo can move around a lot um, so basically what I want is to have the servo as much down as possible but also more inside so I first mount it on my spare chassis now the servo is mounted on the on the servo mount and the servo mount is mounted on the chassis and you can already see there is a quite a big gap so normally if you have the servo mount in your hand and you just uh, screw the servo on you push it all the way up but then there's quite a lot of space under the chassis of course the chassis flex so you don't want to have it all the way down but you can easily add a little bit of uh, lexan from uh, 0 0.2 0 0.3 mm very thin lexan but in my feeling you can just uh, yeah just let it stay and I also push the servo inside so it, the weight is more inside the car and I'm gonna tight the screws of the servo uh, servo mount, the floating servo mount. I'm gonna tie them now. And again, as you can see, there's quite some space now. And the servo can still a little bit move. And of course, when it flexes, it still flexes the same. But you can see I gain a lot with the weight of the servo to, uh, to put it more down in the car. 
And of course now I uh, take it off the chassis and I uh, mount it in my uh, in my car that I'm build building now. So that was my video for today. My car is finished, ready for tomorrow practice. And um, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you and uh, see you next time.